So the next item on my list are exercise balls, which is very commonly or gruesomely referred to as death balls. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check out my chinchilla care guide video because I am doing a series on my channel where I go into even more detail about the topics I talk about in that video. So last week I talked about five things that I would recommend you put in your chinchilla's cage. However, this week we are going to be talking about five things you should avoid with your chinchilla. So let's get into number one. The first item on my list is commonly found at pet stores. You may even see them in the cages with the chinchillas. And that is a wire hay ball. A wire hay ball is a hay rack that is ball shaped and is made out of wires that you can hang from the top of your cage. Now the reason why this is unsafe is because your chinchilla is inclined to shove their whole body into the wire hay ball, especially because there's food in there. And because of the way the hay ball is designed, these wires will expand when the chinchilla puts their body in there and then will try and go back into place. And because of that, they very typically will get stuck in these wire hay balls get scared and then cause injury to themselves. These are very, very dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. If you do want to use a hay rack, there are a lot of other safer options. You can find safe options on Etsy. You can also find safe options at Target. You can use these ceramic bowl type things. I think they might be pots, but they're like a round shape and then they have an opening and a lot of times they're cute faces and whatnot. Those are probably my favorite hay feeders, but if you do want to go to a pet store and get a hay feeder, typically they will come with these ceramic hay feeders that have a wire front. You can use these as long as you remove that wire front just because you don't want your chinchilla's legs to get stuck in those wire bars and cause issue, but you can remove that and just have the hay in that feeder. So that is a safer option to wire hay balls. Please don't use wire hay balls, they're really scary. Now the next item on my list is plastic. And if you guys have seen my videos before, I talk about plastic a lot. And the reason for that is because it is very commonplace in pet stores. You will see it inside chinchillas cages as floor pans. You will see plastic igloos, plastic bowls, plastic water bottles. There's so many cage accessories that are made with plastic. And the reason for that is because it is safer for other species of animals, but not chinchillas. And the reason for that is because chinchillas are chewers. All they wanna do is put everything in their mouth and they have the jaw strength to chew through hard plastic where smaller animals do not like hamsters typically will not chew through a plastic hut however chinchillas will so you want to be very careful about what you are putting in your chinchillas cage with all of that said you can put plastic in your cage if it is covered with a no pill fleece and there are a lot of different Etsy shops that sell fleece covers. So you can get liners for the floor pans on your cage. You can find covers for those plastic igloos that you find at pet stores. And you can even find tube covers. So if you have a plastic tube, you can cover that with fleece as well. However, you want to make sure that it is a no pill fleece because if you use other fabrics, those strings in the fabrics, could come apart and if your chinchilla ingests those it can cause intestinal problems so make sure it is covered with a no pill fleece and that you don't have plastic just exposed in your cage it needs to be covered and on top of this if they start chewing the no pill fleece that is also bad you want to take that out immediately so the next item on my list are exercise balls which is very commonly or gruesomely referred to as death balls because these are not safe for a lot of different species of animals not just chinchillas and here is why so if you guys haven't checked out my chinchilla wheel video Make sure to check that out, but I talk about all of my safe and unsafe wheel options and exercise balls have a lot of similar issues to those unsafe wheels. 
and let's go through each one of those issues. First off, it's made out of plastic, which I have already told you guys is bad because if they consume it, it can cause blockages. The next issue is an exercise ball is always moving and it has air holes in obviously so they can breathe but because the running area is not smooth and has those ridges your chinchilla's toes can get stuck in those and can cause injury so it's very similar to wheels in that way. So the next issue is chinchillas are very prone to heat stroke. So if you put them in a plastic ball that doesn't have adequate airflow, you are going to have issues with it being very hot and stuffy in this ball. Plus they're running in that stuffy air. So it makes them very, very prone to having heat stroke when they are in those exercise balls. No matter how cold your house is, these exercise balls are going to be quite a bit warmer. And the last major issue with exercise balls is chinchillas are spring-loaded. So when they are running, they tend to be jumping, which doesn't really work when you are trapped in a ball. You're just gonna hit your head on the top of the ball. Now on top of all those other issues, I'm not sure if this one even matters because you should just not put your chinchilla in a ball at all. But with wheels, you have to have a wheel that is 14 inches or bigger but obviously they don't make exercise balls that big. So I would presume that they also have a curvature problem when your chinchilla is running in a ball on top of the fact that they're going to be jumping and hitting their heads on top of the ball. So they're just, there's so many issues with exercise balls. You just want to avoid them at all costs. And a safer option would be to have supervised playtime in a either exercise pen or maybe a small room or you can check out this video and find some other safe wheel options that can provide extra exercise for your chinchilla, but exercise balls are very dangerous. The next item on my list is cardboard or paper items. So a lot of times chinchilla owners will use cardboard boxes as cheap huts for their chinchilla's cage, or they'll use paper bedding like Carefresh or Katie, or they'll use toilet paper rolls as toys. These are all unsafe because when consumed, paper can expand in the chinchilla's stomach, which could inevitably cause a blockage. So you want to avoid putting paper in your chinchilla's cage and use safer alternatives like wood or metal. So you can use wood or metal huts. You can use either wood fleece or tile bedding and you can use safer toys like wood or pumice stone. However, there are a lot of sources on the internet that tell you that you can use paper bedding as long as you are filling your cage with other items that are safe for them to chew on. They will supposedly not chew on the bedding and chew on the enrichment items that are safe for them. However, that's not true. Like I said a few back, Chinchillas chew on everything. Why would they not chew on the bedding? So you want to not take the risk of having a paper item in your cage, but instead to just go with a wood chip bedding or a tile bedding or your fleece bedding because they're like toddlers. They're gonna put unsafe things in their mouth. They don't care. They don't know the difference. The next item on my list is mineral stones or salt licks. And this is essentially a hard chew that is a, made up of a bunch of different minerals and is usually used as a supplementary of electrolytes and things like that for other species of animals. Chinchillas do not need extra supplement. They get absolutely everything nutritionally they need from their pellet formula in their Timothy hay. So adding a mineral block to their diet could cause an imbalance, which can cause a lot of different issues including kidney stones, bladder stones, and even seizures. So you want to avoid putting things like that in their cage. Even chinchillas that have a deficiency in a certain mineral, a lot of times you will not use mineral blocks because they are so highly concentrated. There are better and safer options for chinchillas. Mineral blocks are just too much for them. It just 
imbalances their system. So there are other safer options to like trim down their teeth. You can use pumice stone, which pumice stone is a lava rock. It's essentially when lava hits water. And this is what the dust baths are made out of. So this is safe for a chinchilla. It provides a rough surface to trim down your chinchilla's teeth. So it is a safe option or alternative to a mineral stone. Now that you know what is safe and unsafe for your chinchilla's cage, I have a request for you. I would love to make one of those videos where I rate my subscribers cages, but I need your help with submissions. If you guys are interested in submitting your cage for review for one of my next videos, Make sure to go to my Instagram down below and give me a DM with your cage picture and the statement or hashtag saying review my cage so I know that you are submitting your cage for a video and I will critique honestly what I think of your cage. So if you're uncomfortable with that, obviously don't submit your cage because I'm going to give you my honest feedback. So if there's something wrong, I will point it out for you. So if you guys are interested, again, make sure to go down below and DM me your cage photos. And make sure these photos are easy to see. If they're low res, I won't be able to use them in the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you're interested in a rate my subscribers cage video, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next one. And while you wait, check out these videos next. See you next week. I've been thinking, I'm, so I've been thinking, boy, in a, I rate my chinchilla, I rate my subscribers chinchillas videos, cages, okay.